I just wanted to come on here and just tell you guys that unfortunately my camera got messed up and you were there to see the blush or the foundation or anything like that. I will do another video using those stuff that way I can show you. Like I said, the blush was very pigmented. So when you see my video, it's going to be as to the lift and snatch brow part when I'm trying this on and everything. So, yeah, I just want to come on and tell you, sorry about that, I didn't realize it was doing it. I'm fortunately not going to go back to have another video that I need to upload and get done for this week. So, yeah, just want to tell you. So, let's go ahead and get on to stroke like tint. Because look, that looks good. I really do like that. But just like the on amazing uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah so far this is my favorite thing and so is the blushes you know the little pigmented but they actually work and of course you guys know my love for this so we're not going to talk about that okay so that's it for the brows now for the eyeshadow I got this duo, and then I got two pencils. So this is called the Eyeshadow Blend and Line Long Lasting Eyeshadow Sticks. I got two of them on, on my Ruby and um, Feeling Lippy. I have been is so into greens, like literally, it just like, I'm not going to use it as liner, but I will use them as a, um, want it done like shadow stick but when you blend them out it kind of like disappears in a way you could kind of see them but I don't know I want to try to see how they look with this because I was like maybe this is cool and even says like two of them says cake eyeliner so I don't know exactly what that means I think it means that you could actually um wet it or something like that so i figured these will be great because we got some summer shades like yellow and greens and oranges and all of that so i'm thinking maybe we could do the yellows and put the green on top well they're not exactly a drugstore but it's an eyeshadow primer and i always use eyeshadow primer when it comes to anything like this so Go ahead and do that, and then, okay, so what I'm going to do really quick before my battery go dead, do a quick eye look shadow, and then we'll do eye primer, because I do have eye primer, and I one that I'm not used yet from Essence, that again, recently came out. Um, so like I said, I'm going to use the yellow, so I'm going to do the very light yellow. And this, unfortunately, don't have a mirror, which I really hate that. But, ooh, it's very pink. So we're going to use, ooh, okay. Now that's a very bright yellow. Oh, yeah. Very bright yellow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, very pigmented. Good. Okay. Very painted. So, then green and yellow will like definitely go together. My part. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the orangey. Well, actually, we'll do green. So, we'll do that green. Just to do a little bit more brightening up. And that way. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, okay. Some of these are looking really good. Like, for real. Like, this is more like a pastel type color. And what I'm going to do, there's like an orange on here that I'm actually going to be using. 
So I'm going to get a different brush and I'm going to use that orange just for the outer V. Get some brightness and then we're going to use that green shadow stick. Why do I feel like none of this is okay? I feel like that none of this is really showing up. It's like very powdery, but it's very like light at the same time. I don't like that showing up. Kind of like, what the heck happened in your type one? Uh, this is not really working out. Like, barely see anything at all. Definitely like to play with this because this is kind of like making me a little bit mad in a way. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually do this other deep one. I'm going to see if that will show up because these very light wands are just not showing up whatsoever. Okay, that's showing up. Okay, finally getting some color on me. I'm totally trying to... Okay. So finally, some color is coming on me. So I'm going to use a paintbrush and do a little. But it took like the very extreme, deepest color in a way to even get anything on me. So these are very powdery and very like majorly like sheer in a way. So this is what it looked like so far, like I said, the three colors that I used are just like very like sheer and pastel and all that, even on my skin tone. So definitely we'll be playing with this more, but I don't know, I mean... I understand it's called strawberry lemon very pastel summer type vibes but um yeah it's kind of like mm. so i'm gonna put this all over my lid and we'll see how this looks might top this off with something else because again this is very like sheer it's beautiful but very like sheer mm. Looks okay. Not exactly. So very like stiff too. Like beyond like stiff. And I got other shadow sticks a lot more better than this. Kind of, you know, does a lot better job when it comes to shadows and all of that. I don't seem very like sparkly. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to try the red one, and I know it's going to be a weird look, but I'm going to try it just on the outside. See how that looks. 
kind of like down the in between. I think. Because it was really supposed to be a deeper like color and everything. So. Then I'm going to use my brush and just kind of evolve the color to kind of like blend in in a way. But I don't know, just I don't see. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the brightest green. Actually, I'm going to take this right here. This has like a purple, a green type shimmer. And I'm kind of going to mix it together. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to put that on top. Let's see if this does anything. Ooh, kind of like that. Just kind of mix it together in a way. A little, you know, bedazz. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's a lot better with the shimmer. Now I'm going to take this lightest one and I'm going to put this in the inner corner. That's pretty. Okay, maybe not turning out to be such a bad. I look. I actually like it. What do you guys think? Kind of like it, but I have to do that deeper color back. So, this is what my eyes look like. Not the greatest, not like mind blown anything like that. It just I would have to play with it more, but I don't think I really like the shadow sticks. They tend to be a little stiff and it the shine doesn't really show up like I thought it would show up. So it's just an average to me shadow stick. Okay, let's go ahead and go do eyes, and that way we could just set this off and everything. So, again, I did get the Essence Lash. You guys saw this a lot in my drugstore haul videos from either last month or month before. I told, Like I said, I told you I was going to do a full thing of Essence. So, this is the Lash Princess um, Primer Mascara Primer. Now, the only one I've used so far is the Lamco one. I really did like that one. That was actually one of my best eyeshadow primers that I ever had that I really, truly um, didn't think I would like because I don't usually use eyeshadow primers. I mean, primers for mascara, so, you know. So, this is the newest one right here. Right now, they had the brown one, which I did like. But this one is the Wow Length Lash Without Limits Extra Lengthening Vol Mascara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one, use it on this side, and it is blue. I was completely shocked with that. And then use the other one without it. So do one lash with the primer and one lash without it and see if you do, if it does give that extra length of volume with it or without it. So go ahead. So this does turn your eyelashes blue. <laughs> turn the blue here, but I'm just coating it as much as I can. Make sure I get every lash to the color from top to bottom. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I go into that. But this is where the eyelashes look like with it. This is it's kind of scary. Really scary. So let me go ahead and use the new mask on this side. Then we'll test the one with the primer. And last will be lips. 
So this is what the wand looked like. I, it's a small, pokey one. I feel like that these, I kind of tend to poke my eyes out a lot. But, this feels more, this feels kind of dry in a way. But I am getting a lot of length. I feel like there is a lot on here. But it's separating my lashes, giving me length. Definitely volume. Does feel like it's really like clumpy up my lashes. I'm giving me like spider looks. Anything like that. So that's what it looks like. So far, okay. Now let's try with the one with the primer. And we'll see if there's any difference. Ooh. Somehow I actually can tell the difference between the two. This one is making more length, more long, more volume, more spread out. Okay, you can definitely, oh, definitely, definitely tell the difference between the two. Yep. I think the primer did what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm going to add a little bit more on this side. Like, again, this is a more drier um, mascara. But I'm telling right now, you could definitely see the difference between the one with the primer and the one without the primer. And look, I think, wow, okay. Definitely see, like, the difference between the two. I don't know, like the primer I think looks a lot better than the non-primer size, so I'm definitely going to keep using this, and exactly, I mean, this is just like, wow. Okay, I'm going to use a sunny spray. I'm just going to use the NYX Dewy One, which I should use before. <laughs> Mascara, so I'm going to kind of cover my eyes in a way, so it won't go on this. Cut away from there. Ooh. But I think my makeup actually turned out good. I definitely like the flick from NYX. I'm definitely starting to like the primer, which is the reason why I do not do this. I do this after primer. So I definitely have to wipe that off once it dries and everything. But Besides that, everything is looking good. I like the blush. I like the brightener from underneath the eye. I mean, a lot of this stuff is good. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that oil off. And I didn't get two new. Um, I saw these online at Ultra, and they're the, what is it? Cover Girl Outlast Lip Stain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on and then top it with gloss. And these are more like marker type ones. So that what that color look like. And then we have the shade Jazzberry and Sugar Girl. So, like I said, these are more like pen-like. So, I think this was to be ones that are, you know, you're supposed to line your lips and then do that. So, I'm going to use this shade, Sugar Girl. And I'm going to line the lips. They actually feel like wet markers. And this is to be like stain like like not go anywhere and all of that but that will look like I don't know like these just feel like really wear like concepts So, definitely 
we're going to keep trying these out because, alright, um, it's all very drying, like really drying, and it's just so weird how these act. So I'm going to go ahead and put on that lip gloss. Then I'm going to find, then I'm going to take my brush and wipe this off. This, mm, love these lip glosses. Definitely give you that shine, that pigmented, non-sticky, just works so well. And for this close out, when this happens, I always take a brush, one of these, and I will just flick it off. And that way, go back to new. But yeah, I like the primer side a lot better. That did like a lot. And it just, I don't know, something about it just kind of like, uh, definitely worked so well. But the face looks good. It looks hydrating, looks moisturizing. I love the blush. I mean, a lot of it worked, but a lot of them I'm going to have to keep trying. But this is everything. Packly checked out. Essence slash new drugstore makeup. Everything. You guys enjoy the film or the video. Make sure you give a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. That way you guys know I upload three times a week. And make sure you like it. Comment, subscribe. If you tried anything that you see, if you used it, tried it, liked it, didn't like it, all that. I would love to hear from you guys. And tell me what you guys want me to try when it comes to drugstore and all that. I am open up to try anything. So no matter what you guys want to see, I will try it no matter what and all that. I would love to know what you guys would love to see me try and everything. But hope you guys have a lovely day and night. And when you guys are, until then, bye.